My name is Sergeant Brooke Arthur. Okay, so this is the health department. People's private information is protected. They have it posted that there is no video or photography. Mel, let me explain let me, this no, to let you. Let me finish the walk. No, I'm let me explain this to you. I am a free citizen. Understand that. Listen. Their policy does okay. not trump my First Amendment rights. Do you, you do understand that? Rights to people's private health. I'm not here for their private information. If you want to be in the they facility, have to create that. You can that. have a seat. They have to create you that. You can have a seat. You may not record here. Yes, I am. No, I will. Not. What's going on, folks? And welcome back to First Amendment Audits, the channel where we bring you only the best First Amendment audits by newer and smaller folks. The premise of a First Amendment audit is to walk in our government facilities and document whatever business you may have. Whether it be common questions you may have regarding the facility or other business to conduct, considering it is a government agency, you absolutely have the free will to do so, which is something that the man recording this video understands very well. When all hell breaks loose, this man stood tall and firm on his rights. Folks, this man's channel does only have just under a thousand subscribers so please do be sure to give him the support he deserves check this out let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below i'll go ahead and see you guys at the end of the video let's see how this goes some more information over here videotaping you're a public servant ma'am uh, no expectation of privacy in public How are you? Another Karen, I see. Okay. All right. You take care. Call us if you need anything. And who are you? I'm the director of the health department here. My name is Pam Browning. Okay. We have a policy for protection of a privacy of our patients. Okay, here. but let me educate you a little bit, okay? This is a public building. Okay, okay. do you have some information? Do you have a card? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm an independent journalist gathering story. Yes. Gathering content for a story. This is a medical. People here are protected by HIPAA. A HIPAA. They have a they, right to privacy. Here's the thing. You guys, that's on you guys for protection, not me. I, a I am a free you American. not videotape. Okay. I'm exercising my First Amendment right now. Okay. What is your so, name, sir? Good citizen. So uh, if you want to call the police, go right ahead. I'm sure they'll educate I'm you. I'm going to have to ask okay. you to leave. I'm not going to leave. Do you have business I'm here? Gonna, oh, ma'am. Yeah, I do. I'm gathering information for a story. Okay. Would you like to speak to our a PIO, Public Information Officer? Is sure. Is something I mean, that I can help you with? What is your purpose of your? I'm visit gathering here information. Today? For what purpose? I'm videoing. For what For purpose? a story. A story regarding the health department. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can I provide you with any information? I must ask you to put the video camera away. Uh, no, ma'am. I'm going to respectfully decline. Okay. Would you please contact? Yes, ma'am. Sure. But see, that's the problem with the public service. You don't understand that this is a public lobby, okay? Yes, it is. It's HIPAA violate HIPAA law is on you guys, not on me. Whatever I can see in public, I can videotape. You understand? But if you don't have business here. I do. Other than you, you won't I tell can, me your name. I don't you have to. I don't. Purpose. I don't have to give you that information. Okay. I don't see. That's what you guys don't understand. Okay. And your policy doesn't trump my First Amendment right. I'm sorry. Okay. We run into this all well, the we'll time. Get some, we'll get okay. Some all right. here. Please you, do. You, I'm, I'm respectfully asking you to put away. The and I'm respectfully declining. I will get, okay. put you up with any information you want. Folks, this type of ideology is the very reason I strongly believe in this type of work and why I believe it is important. This false misconception that policy and feelings overrides your rights and what you freely are allowed to do is totally baffling to me. Wasting police resources on something that's really not even an issue and something that can be absolutely resolved without having to call violent forces with weapons to show up. Folks out there like herself with this type of entitlement are exactly the ones that actually create a problem out of nothing. And I really wish I knew where it comes from. Standing up for yourself and staying true to your rights is exactly what I believe should be done in a situation like this and folks that is exactly what this channel did and really what this movement is all about later on the police try coming in all hot and try telling this man he is not allowed to film there and I think you folks will like the outcome keep watching so we'll what's to help you. what's the problem with the camera are, you, are you all scared of cameras no, I mean, of usually when people like this tell us to put our cameras down the privacy of the people who are in this building this is a public yes public I understand that sir. okay Apparently you don't but because you don't have business here, there's no expectation of privacy in public. See, that's the thing that you guys don't get. Okay. No expectation of privacy in public. Okay. And see, she's saying that she can't be videotaped. 
She's a public okay. servant. She said she didn't want to be videotaped. She's a public servant, man. It's a little unnerving to have a videotape in your face when you're trying to do your job, sir. Oh, my God. Our feelings. Here we go. Feelings. This is my First Amendment right. Okay. We See, this is this okay. All right, what we else, sure what, will. What would you like to know besides videotaping the lobby? What else would you like to know? I'm just about? looking at information. I'm looking. I'm watching your employees, okay. and I'm checking up on my government. Simple as that. There you go. If you would like okay. to have, you know, it says right here. If you would like information, you contact me. Mm -hmm. We have the comptroller's office. If you would like to contact someone in Nashville, right, about but, what you're seeing. So you guys violate people's rights. So I'm people not violating get, any right. That is your violence. See, that's what you don't understand. People okay. are allowed to film. Okay. And if you're and what if does you're the sign say right here, sir. But you just told me you have right here. no you, video or photography, please, to protect patient privacy. Please do not Let's see, here's here's yet. here's that thing, please. And here again you I go with I cannot make you leave the building. Right. You have I can a policy ask you politely. and I'm politely declining. Okay. Then we're okay. at an impasse. Okay. Then we'll sort it out with the police. That's absolutely right, sir. Okay. okay. All right. See, you guys, this is what we run into all the time. So we'll deal with the popos, the little piggies, like always. We got Karens here. Hope they come with sirens. Oh, good. I didn't say that, ma'am. I said that you have to provide that. So if you're going to lie, let's let's do it right. See, you guys, this is what they do. They try to enforce their policy. Oh, look, came back. <laughs> oh, look, the police is here. Hello. Officer Young. How are you doing, man? How are you? Good. <clears throat> Hope you educate them, officer. No, Officer Young, I hope you educate him. I have a legal right to be here. First Amendment. So. No name, no purpose. That's a policy. Policy does not trump my First Amendment right now. Come talk with me. I'll stay right here, Officer. I ain't got no reason to go outside. You don't want to? No, I'll talk to you right here. Okay. So what do you got to... Wow, look guys, we got three officers for somebody with a camera. Hello. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what, what can we do for you today? I if I could say something else, folks, with how long these type of videos and interactions like this have come out on the internet, it actually amazes me cops are still responding to these type of calls. Now when they show up to these type of calls, it seems like the cops are showing their initial intentions from the beginning. You can almost feel it in their presence through your screen just as soon as they walk in the door because that is literally the only aspect cops are thoroughly trained on. And the higher up they go, the dirtier and more corrupt they become from where they first started. Believe me not, but I think the cops who responded to this call show all aspects of that ladder. If you think they are there to walk in and educate the uneducated public official, that he has a legal right to stand there and film, a majority of the time it is the complete opposite of that. Hello, my name is Sergeant Brooke Arthur. Okay, so this is the health department. People's private information is protected. 
They have it posted that there's no video or photography. Mel, let me explain let me, this yeah, to let you. Let me finish the live cast. No, let me explain this to you. Okay. I am a free citizen. Understand that. Listen. Their policy does okay. not trump my First Amendment rights. Do you, you do understand that? Rights to people's private health care I'm not here for their like private information. If you want to be in they the have facility, to create you that. Can have a seat. They have to create you them exercising. I'm an independent journalist gathering story, gathering content for a story. I'm exercising my First Amendment right. This is a public lobby. I can be here. I'm addressing my government. Okay? They have a policy. Policy doesn't trump my First Amendment. Okay? HIPAA doesn't relate to me. They have to create their privacy. I'm not here. I'm not here for ill intent. I'm not here for anything illegal. Right? But policy doesn't trump my First Amendment rights. So you're here to uphold. I do all the public buildings. I, if you want to check, I just went left the um, probation office over there. Okay. Very respectful. But you need to educate them. You, you took an oath to the Constitution, so you have to uphold my First Amendment rights, officer. I'm not here to... Well, you need to inform this lady right here. First Amendment rights. I'm just okay. here to ask why here. Oh. I do everywhere. So policy does not trump, and this lady right here doesn't seem to understand that. Okay. Policy doesn't trump my constitutional rights. Okay. So be very... I'm just, I'm just warning you. I'm putting you on notice that if you... Well, thank you. I appreciate okay. that. Okay. Well, if you violate my rights, then there will be litigation. So. Sir? I'm not here to violate okay. anyone. Well, right. please educate these people. Okay. Terrified of a camera. Are you? I'm not here to be confrontational okay. either, so let's not do that. All right. Are you feelings, officer? Are you the Constitution, officer? Ago? You did. You did. Okay. You know exactly who I am. So you know my demeanor. <clears throat> I do. This is exactly how I am all the time. Well, I'm here I'm to educate peaceful. them. Okay. That's just me. I, I love to keep peace, right. Right. and that's my whole intent in anything. Yeah, and I've got you. I've got you on video. Yeah. We, we've we've yes, had our sir. interaction, officer. We have. We have. Yeah, you know what I do. So, I do. the people's watching. So I would like for you to educate this lady on First I'll Amendment rights, constitutional rights. Her for your video, I just I will not do that. Okay. okay. Well, you need to inform her that I'm and, allowed and to I be will here. Speak with her. Okay. I will not Please do, do that. Please for do your video. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, sp I'll speak with her. Privately. Well, if you're out here, well, y'all need to take it back there then. But I'm allowed to be here. So just know that. Work. Okay. So, All right. I don't answer no questions. My name is Officer Jones, Stone Police Park. All right, Officer Jones, name and so, badge number, please. I just gave you my name. All right, badge number. Badge number is 510. Okay. All right. So, yes, so the public lobby is you said, right? Okay. Well, mm -hmm. these people also have their right to be here because it's a public lobby. No, they do have a right to be here, but there's no expectation of privacy in public. You need to understand that, Officer. But you need to understand that. Another thing you need to understand is you are disturbing them. No, I'm not. You are. You're no, making them not. uncomfortable. Oh, see, here we go with their feelings. Are you a feelings, please? Are you a law enforcement? No, no, you're but you no, your place. Disorderly conduct and causing a disturbance. To the That's not disorderly. This is a public place. Okay, well, okay. I'll tell you what. If you think that that's true, go ahead and arrest me. And when you do, okay. by this evening, I'll have a lawsuit filed against you. Do you understand? Because their feelings do not trump my rights. So you need to know that. That is not a statute of disorderly conduct. I'm not filming no personal information. I'm here to video take the people here, the public servants. Hello. My name is Sergeant Brooke Arthur. I practice law in Lawrence County. Okay. So this is the health department. People's private information is protected. They have it posted that there is no video or photography. Mel, let me explain let me, this no, to you. Let me finish the live. No, no, let me explain this to you. I am a free citizen. Understand that. Listen. Their policy does okay. not trump my First Amendment rights. Do you, you understand that? Rights to people's private health I'm not here for their private information. If you want to be in the they facility, have to create you that. Can have a seat. They have to create you that. You can have a seat. You may not record here. Yes, I am. No, you I may will. Not. Policy doesn't trump. Sorry, I'm going to tell you this. You may not. If you if you do something that. I, this is a public area. I'm just going to tell you. This is a public area. You will be filed in the federal lawsuit. You will be. You will be named in a federal lawsuit. Do you understand that? They have to create that privacy. I don't. Okay. Apparently, you don't know. These individuals. I'm not trying to videotape them. They're in a public area. Okay. There's no expectation. No expectation of privacy in public. No expectation of privacy in public, ma'am. All right, sorry. So, no. 
So you go do what you got to do, but I'm going to tell you this. You'll be named in the federal litigation, okay? okay? These so people go are ahead. Protected. It is posted there. It's a policy, man. Policy does not trump That's First their Amendment. Building. There's it's not their this is, information. This is my building, too. This is my building, okay, too. Okay, sorry, I'm done with you. Right. I'm done with you. Here's the only thing that I have, okay? <clears throat> you need to educate your sergeant, young. Apparently, she's uneducated. Uh, you want to be in the building, that's fine, but you that's can't why she's people's she private is, information. She is educated. Here's the thing. Here's where I'm at. Like I said, I'm, I'm a peaceable person. You, you can do what you like, okay? I know that. I'm just going to tell you this. Don't give me directives, John. Okay. I'm just going to tell you this. Tell me that, but don't give me directives. I know my rights. sharing information with you. All right. What do you got? The people that are sitting here. I'm not trying to videotape them. They feel that you are. Okay, well, are, their feelings does not matter, Sergeant, or Young. You should know this. There's no... I'm going to get there eventually. I hope so. Maybe she needs to take your place. Uh, no, no, no. I, yeah. I've learned from her. No okay. expectation of privacy in public. Learn that. You're going to you're gonna learn that real quick. All right. Well, so I wish to God you would violate. You See, what's good? I'm respectfully declining. And there's nothing you can do about it. I just feel like... There's as, nothing as you can do about it, Sergeant. privacy would be really nice of you. Okay. But see, once again, here we go. Are you the feelings police? Are you the feelings police? No, but you're Are you law enforcement? No, I'm a person. And, um, I can still talk to you as a person. Okay. But you're not going to step on my rights. That's when I get upset. Okay. Do you understand that? And, you, do you and understand I that? Taking your camera. I haven't forced you to leave. You can't do that. I, I wish to God you would. I'm not. I'm talking to you. I wish to God you would, because that would be a major lawsuit. Please, I've got a lawyer on standby. Okay. So please go ahead and do what you're going to do, but you need to be educated. Okay? okay? There's what, what no I'm expectation of privacy. That I haven't given you an order to leave. I haven't taken you can't. anything from you, and I haven't. But I've just asked you to respect people's privacy. Okay, it's not like I'm up there on the computers getting their information. Know, the Them, this is, is a public services. lobby. Public lobby. Okay, I can cover your police station. I can film there too. Absolutely. Okay. So don't sit here and try to tell me that you're going to do something. I wish to God you would. Uh, I wish I you would. I hate that you feel that way. Because, but, see, this is people. That damn policy right there don't mean shit. Okay. Is there it doesn't mean nothing. Do today? No. Thank okay. you. Bye. I can lawfully be Sir, here too. Okay. Once again, it is good to meet you. Officer Young, sorry I've got good praises things. about you. Sorry it is under these circumstances, but why, why are you so angry about this? This is my First Amendment right you're trampling on. What do, you, what do you mean, why am We're I angry about this? We're not trampling. Your sergeant just did. No, she's trying to talk to you. Your sergeant's an idiot. Well, that's your okay? opinion, sir. It is my opinion. And you're entitled to that. But what I was asking is, why are you so mad? I'm not mad when you try to trample with you because because I respect that flag and that oath I took. Okay, I served my country. You took an oath too, didn't you? To serve to protect the constitutional rights, right? Right now, that's you. Okay, then why are you here with me having this conversation? Because they called. Okay, so I need the call number for this because I'm going to be pulling that. Is your body cam on? Absolutely. Is your body cam on? So you can always call dispatch and get any of the information you want. Um, How are you going to take an oath to this country and you don't uphold the First Amendment? Do you even know what the five things is in the First Amendment? I have not upheld your amendment today. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you need to educate your officers, though. Your sergeant. I have not violated any of your amendments. I'm having a conversation with you. And I respect you, Young. I do. I, just I hope you got on YouTube because you got good praises on you, brother. I just want to know why you're so angry. I'm not angry, but when you try, when somebody like that comes in here and tries to trample on my First Amendment rights, I'm going to get angry. I understand. Okay? Why do you think there's such a distance between the people and the damn cops? Think about it. Because of dumb asses like that. Those are the people that don't need to be in office. Okay. I'm going to okay? disagree with you. I, I don't see her as that. And I'm of course not. Kidding. Of course not. Yeah. Come on, you all. At least you're not wearing a damn blue line shit that people hate. I respect you, Officer Young. I do. Likewise. You need to know who, you need to tell your officers who I am because I'm going to be watching everything they do. Traffic stops, I'm here. Okay. I'm not going nowhere. And your sergeant can't do nothing. All right. Okay? 
don't trample on my rights. Um, I, um, once again, I'm not saying you personally, that these officers, you need to learn that too. I'm just saying, I'm glad you fixed your face because right. you don't look so mad now. Don't trample on somebody's rights. I didn't trample on your rights. I'm not saying you. I'm saying learn. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying learn. Public building, public area. No expectation of privacy in public. Know that. I understand that. Okay, so these people right here, I can film them all day long if I want to. Their feelings don't mean nothing. Right? I respect you. Okay. But these two need to learn something. Yeah, need to learn something. Thing I said to you is that when there are people out here, you need to keep the noise levels down. You need to respect them. I didn't even speak to nobody. Okay. I'm not here to film them. Okay. These are the people yeah, that started yeah, me. That's all I'm saying. If there's people out here, can't be no expectation of privacy okay. in public. I can film. You can't be causing disturbance. If you're in here raising your voice, uh, getting loud, it's causing a disturbance. I've, okay. Sir, I've got everything recorded. Okay. I haven't it. talked to nobody. I haven't okay. been loud with nobody. Okay. But and these people fine. right here need to learn. And I'm just letting you know. Okay. That's what the statute says. All right. Okay. Well, the statute didn't say that. But once again, policy don't mean nothing. Okay. Policy. And did I, ever, did I ever once tell you to stop recording? I wish you, I wish to God you would, to be honest, and see, that's but see, that's the problem. You guys are law enforcement. You, you guys should know this stuff. When you have citizens that have to educate you and like these people have to be educated. Come on, okay. come on. So, no, I'm just saying, well, like this lady, I hope you learned something today. They're not going to be able to do nothing. Tried to tell you. So I'll stay here as long as I want. Okay. So you guys, no, you. sir, no, sir, you guys can go. Appreciate it. Right. A better day. Well, you too, care, young. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Daddy, I get, you. I get, I get more calls. I hope you're here. And it, and if you get calls for something like this, then you'll know it's me. So whoever responds, you better tell them who I am. Okay. okay. Whatever it is that happens, I hope that we can peacefully resolve yeah. whatever it is. Because but your, sar your sergeant needs to be educated. Uh, your sergeant is, you know, she's going to violate, she's going to violate somebody's rights, okay. young, and then it's going to cost the city a fortune. You're entitled to that opinion on her. Huh? Do you think she was right by what she said? I have worked with Sergeant Arthur for years and okay. I will follow her. Okay, but do you do you stand by what she said to me? I can't tell you if she's right or wrong because Why can't that you? was part of y'all's conversation. But you were standing right here. I'm looking at your face, man. That's all I'm looking Brother, at. I I'm sweat. I sweat you. constantly. I'm just but listen, you're so mad. listen, I'm not mad. That flag is everything to me. Okay, I teach I teach my son about that flag. When I see a flag with that blue line striped through it, man, that is so fucking degrading. How can y'all? How can y'all have something like that? A blue line through the American flag, and our First Amendment, man. That's what that's this country opinion. was founded on. That's your opinion too, and we're all entitled. To you know what I'm story. saying? Everybody's entitled to their opinions, man. But that sergeant right there, that sergeant right there, is going to cost this city a lot of money. She better understand the laws and rules. Policy doesn't trump. Well, I mean, well, like I said, man. I, I respect you, y'all. But when we come in, well, you I, got this I, big old frown on Brother, your face listen. Because when these people right here tell me that. I got you. You know what I'm saying? No. I got you. And, and no. I just was reminded of something that my wife tells me all the time. Yeah. Fix your face. I do. But this, man, brother, listen, I'm going to tell you. I sweat constantly, okay? You're not the same, man. You have yeah, this thing because going on I was, with the Because I was so irritated with that sergeant. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I was so irritated with her because she's, you should have stripes, brother. You know what I'm saying? You you tend to got more sense than she does. You, you know what I'm saying? She don't even know the law. She's going to ask me to leave a public building. Seriously? You know what I'm saying? I just got I just got um, records. I'm getting records. Not on you. I'm getting records on some other officers that you guys work with. They're in process right now. I'm going to know everything about them. And I don't want to do that to you. Because you have been very respectful to me. Well, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But your sergeant needs to learn. You know, she needs to learn. These people right here need to learn. Their policy means nothing. Policy means nothing. I go to the Coffee County Jail. 
I walk right into the administrative building, security and everything. They don't ask me to shut my camera off. They don't ask me what I'm doing here. None of that. You see what I'm saying? Be safe. I will. Take care of yourself. You be safe, brother. You know and I and tell your sergeant, I respect the police. I have done against them. But brother, no, no, no our rights. We are gonna take it to the next level. We've got the number here that we are gonna be calling, filing a complaint. So uh, you guys take this number down and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. So if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to head over to the original video and channel to let them know we sent you. As always folks, the original video and channel links will be down below in the description. In my honest opinion, I believe this channel deserves way more subscribers than he already has. I think he will continue to put out some more amazing work because I think he did an amazing job here. Officer Young's young mind is soon to be bound corrupted by the policies of police, which is very sad to say because I'm sure many folks just like him with a good head on their shoulders have been through the same process as well. If you guys haven't yet already, please do be sure to hit the like like and subscribe. Thank you all so much once again for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh, you are not subscribed. Do it now or get off YouTube, bitches.